Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back for another video. So today what we did is a top 10 brawlers in Brawl Stars list. Now I know a lot of things can go into this such as how often they're played, like level, if you have the gadget, if you have the star power. So for the sake of this list, what we're doing is a completely maxed out brawler. So if every brawler is maxed, level 10, both star powers and gadgets. So all of you guys are eventually going to reach this point. So make sure you guys watch so you guys know what you guys want to have, what you guys don't want to have, etc. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you guys enjoy the channel, please make sure to leave a like on the video. It does help a ton. You guys have been absolutely killing it with the like. So keep on liking. It's helping me a ton. Like, subscribe, comment. And with that being said, let's hop into the list and let's get into this top 10. So coming in at number 10, we have Tara. So now Tara... As you guys know, I've put him in, I've put her in my bat in my top five list in the last two or three bounces. Tara has been really, really good. She's been at the top of the Brawl Ball meta for a long time. She definitely does dominate this mode. And with all the new maps coming out that are close quarters and good for tanks, good for, you know, close range stuff, Tara does even excel more. Tara, obviously a really good brawler. You can play her in a lot of gem maps. She's not that great in bounty, not that great in siege, and in heist she does also struggle. So that's why we're going to leave Tara at the 10 spot on this list. Now Tara, again, is really good. Her gadget is really good, allows you to see through all the grass, I believe for 3 or 5 seconds, I don't know which one. But it's a really, really good gadget. Her star powers are good and her gameplay is good. So with that being said, let's hop on to number 9 and let's see what we can get. So coming in at number 9, we have Frank. Now Frank was higher up. He was like 6 or 7 in our last balance, but unfortunately he is going to go down due to the emergence of gadgets now frank does have a really good gadget it might be top five if not it is definitely top 10 it actually did receive a nerf this balance um that happened actually last night which probably dropped frank down a slot or two in this video but anyways frank is still a really good brawler obviously just like tara frank dominates brawl ball frank is also really good in siege really it's pretty decent in gem cannot be used in bounty and can be used occasionally in heist for showdown okay not the greatest but it can do um, Frank, pretty good all-around brawler, definitely dominates when it has a good comp against it. If you're facing someone like a Shelly or something without the gadget, it's going to be really tough. But with the gadget, you're able to kind of go against all counters. You're able to win majority of your matchups, and you're going to be able to dominate a lot of games with Frank. This is going to be our number nine. Let's now move on to our number eight. So coming in at number eight, and my personal favorite right now on this list is Penny. Now, Penny has made a really huge jump in the meta, and originally I wasn't going to put it on the list, but a lot of the pros that I consult when talking about my list and when talking about the top 10 actually did recommend that I put Penny on it. Um, Penny is an absolute beast right now. Both star powers are very good. Her gadget, obviously, is amazing. And then Penny's just a really good brawler all around. You can use her on Brawl Ball, Gem, Heist, Siege, and Bounty. Really good all around. You can use it in Duo Showdown and even Showdown. There's always a way you can outplay somebody with Penny. You guys can see that brutal gadget star power combination that just absolutely wipes out everybody. But again, Penny's just a really good brawler. Now, it's not huge. It doesn't have really big, big game plays such as a Frank or a Tara would have, but it's very consistent. The turret is very controlling and one of the most annoying things in the game to take out. And I mean, Penny's just an absolute nuisance, especially on modes like Siege. So that is why Penny is going to have our number eight spot. So coming in at number seven, we now have Nita. Now in my last video or two videos ago, I spoke about the best gadget in the game and I said Nita's might be the best, um, but Jackie's is just going to be a little bit better for now. But I do predict that Jackie will have a nerf and then Nita's will become the best. Now we see Jackie's gadget has gotten the nerf and Nita has now taken her place as having the number one gadget in the game. Now again, the gadget is unreal, it works in many different scenarios and Nita used to be kind of map dependent, so it was good on all modes, but it would really depend on the map more than the mode. But now it's just totally different. Nita can just absolutely dominate every single map, basically. Um, the reason it's so low on the list, well, so low, the reason it's number seven on the list is because it doesn't, again, have that big game ability. You're always kind of just taking out your lane or working your way up. You're not really like a Frank where you're just going to stun somebody or a Tara where you're just going to get a triple pull or something and completely change the direction of a game. But Nita is a very, very good brawler. It can be played in all modes and its star powers go really well with the gadget. And this is why Nita is going to be the number seven brawler on our list. So coming in at number six, we have none other than Mr. P. Now, ever since Mr. P has has been released he's kind of been a borderline top five brawler top three even top one at times it's just a really annoying brawler kind of has that tick vibe to it where you can constantly just spam shots if your porter constantly coming out and spamming and it's just something that is really hard to juke because of the fact that you can shoot over walls star powers both of them are pretty decent one of them is significantly better than the other the one that makes your briefcase or suitcase whatever it is bounce after it hits the ground after a certain amount of distance but i mean it's just a really good all-around brawler 
Very annoying, very spammy, but also has really good range. Can shoot over walls, is good in all modes, and is actually pretty good in the showdown modes as well. And it can be played by a lot of people. It's not the highest skill cap brawler in the world. And its gadget is also pretty decent. So Mr. P, really solid pick. It could have been top five, but I feel like our top five is pretty solid. So we're going to leave it at the number six spot. Mr. P at number six. Let's move on to our top five. So coming in at number five and the first brawler in our top five is going to be Max. Now Max was a super, super good brawler and a super annoying brawler heading into this last balance. Now it did really uh, receive a nerf and then actually yesterday it received a second nerf. So Max has been kind of taking the L from Supercell. I guess Supercell doesn't really like Max. Doesn't really mess with its speed. It kind of wants to nerf it a little bit. But nonetheless, Max is still a really good brawler. Still can create a whole dynamic around him just from the fact that he has really good speed. And his gadget does complement him really, really well. The gadget is actually really good. Probably top 10 gadget in the game. Uh, probably borderline top 10. But it's just how it's just another good part of a really good brawler. Both star powers, again, are very useful. Not, not One is not better than the other. They're both pretty equal. But Max is just a super good brawler. Now, you can play it in both showdown modes. You can play it in all the 3v3 modes. Probably outside of Bounty. So Max is a really solid pick for whatever you guys want to do. A Brawl Ball specialist for sure, but can play everything. You really do love the all-around from Max over here. Really good brawler. Would recommend for any comp and in any mode outside of Bounty. And with that being said, this is going to be our number 5 brawler. Let's now move on to number 4. Coming in at number 4, we have M's. Now, along with Penny, this brawler probably has the biggest uptick in the brawler tier list kind of type of thing in the last little bit. M's has just been on an absolute tear as of late. So, M's has always been kind of a decent brawler, but the meta just didn't really fit around M's. There were always brawlers that had more range and that, you know, kind of just stayed away from M's. But right now, M's is really flourishing as a top tier brawler. So, it's going to be number 4 on our list. And for a good reason, Ems is just absolutely dominating competitive play at the moment, doing a really good job at destroying all the tanks that are currently in the meta. Its gadget is super good as it complements Ems very well. What the gadget does, it basically pushes people out to max Ems distance, and max Ems distance is basically like 2.7 thousand damage per shot or 2.5 thousand damage per shot. So it's super, super good. Um, it's just really good. The star powers are pretty good, especially the heal one. But again, they're both kind of equal star powers. Really good brawler, really, really all around as well, outside of, again, Bounty. A lot of these brawlers that you're going to see in the top five aren't really necessarily amazing at Bounty. So outside of Bounty, basically every single game mode Ems does dominate in, and this is why it's going to be at our number four spot. So coming in at number three, we have Sandy. Now, Sandy's been one of those brawlers that's been the top of the meta for a really long time. When I mean top, I mean like the absolute top, top three or five or even one brawler in the game. Sandy's just been an absolute force as of late. And you don't really want to be facing a Sandy because it is one of the most annoying things in the game to face. Now, again, it's good in all modes outside of Bounty, as all these top brawlers seem to be, including the showdown modes. Both star powers, again, really good. The gadget I'm not a huge fan of. I'm gonna, I think we're going to see Sandy slowly dropping down this list as Sandy just kind of isn't cutting it as of late. Now, it is pretty good, again, but the damage output is starting to be a little bit low for the current meta where you're going to see Franks running around and Tara's making plays. And just all these overpowered brawlers making plays out of nowhere. And then just you have this little chip from Sandy, which I don't think is going to be enough soon. But as of now, it is just enough to crack our top three list. So again, good at all modes. Gadget is decent. Didn't really help out the brawler too much. I feel like the gadget could have been better. Um, good star powers. Can't really go wrong with Sandy anywhere. And that's why it's going to be at our number three spot. Coming in at number two, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Gene. Now, Gene, you guys know my favorite brawler in the game, and I absolutely love the fact that they are refusing to touch Gene and nerf Gene because he's been an absolute beast as of late. So outside of being the best mid for gem in the game, he's also super good for control based on Siege, super good on Brawl Ball, actually surprisingly decent on Heist, although I would definitely not recommend playing him on Heist, and he's an absolute god on bounty so you guys know that all these brawlers are not good on bounty well we actually did find one that is kind of decent at it so anyways a broken brawler obviously it's really good at solos and duos probably the most well-rounded brawler in the game at the moment although i can see him slight getting a slight nerf potentially soon i'm really hoping it doesn't happen i can see them actually not nerfing and him staying staying at the top of the meta for a really long time but it's also very possible that he does get a nerf soon so with that being said, Gene's an absolute of a, of a beast brawler, absolute god, that's why he's going to be number two on our list. Really good gadget, really good super, really good star powers, 
really all around there's not and there's just too much that you can say about gene that we can't get through in this video right now he needs a whole video for himself which he has plenty of already on my channel so anyways that's gonna be the number two and if you guys haven't guessed what this brawler at number one was before you even clicked on the video i'm actually gonna be quite shocked but with that being said let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what the number one brawler in the game is right now so coming in at number one absolutely no surprise here we have jackie now when jackie first entered the game absolute domination nothing can go up against it just an absolute beast but they did just give jackie a really really fat nerf in a lot of different ways the damage i believe the health i believe the gadget so many different ways have they nerfed jackie and it's a little bit unfortunate that they couldn't have it balanced when it came out but i am super happy that they did give it the nerf it finally needs now perhaps when the game continues to go on and people continue to figure out jackie it's going to eventually drop down our list but as of right now jackie is going to be the number one brawler absolute tear in the mode that it's in the second star power is even better than the first one which makes jackie even better the team wipe ability is way too strong as you guys can see on the on the screen the gadget still is incredibly strong and complements the brawler really well and it's just an absolute force to be wrecking with and that is why it's going to be our number one spot so with that being said that is going to end our video for today i hope you guys enjoyed i know you guys love these lists so again if you guys want me to continue or if you guys have any ideas drop it in the comment section down below so that's going to be it if you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe if not let me know what you guys want to see next but anyways that's going to be it. i will catch you guys again tomorrow see you guys then peace